Most people like to go out and make friends. I like to stay at home and make friends. I'm going to build a Wheatley-style robot from Portal 2. Hey, good people of the interwebs. Got my Movember stash going on here. It's quite, quite becoming... Anyway, the lighting in here is horrible, as usual. I'm in the Dave Cave, and I'm building a robot. Um, I just got finished playing Portal 2, and it's that's, that's an awesome game. Uh, and I got this idea for building some sort of a Wheatley-style robot. Uh, so, I tried to... It's not going to be a, a Wheatley replica robot. It's just going to be a Wheatley style robot uh kind of like a ball uh i have some ideas of taking the crab foo uh swashbot and uh putting like a camera on it and having it look around and, and be all cool so what i ended up doing was i have i tried making a couple of like a couple of hemispheres so i could put it together and and cut a hole out and and make the bot that way but it turned out being really small because what i ended up using was uh this lint chocolate uh, sort of chocolate tin thing it wasn't an ideal situation anyway uh, if you look at the finish here it's like all kind of mottled and gross so I tried sanding it out and I just ended up uh, you know sanding off part of my knuckle and, uh, and just being a nuisance to myself so I figured why am I trying to reinvent the wheel I mean I live in North America people are always playing with the balls uh, anyway, that's okay. So what I ended up doing was I went out and I got, went to Walmart and I got myself uh, one of these hamster balls, right? And I figured, you know, a little bit of paint and this thing's going to look pretty cool. Put this down. It comes in uh, two hemispheres, right? And it's pretty much exactly the shape that I want to use, which is pretty cool. So here's, here's where the camera's going to go in that weird little gimbal area. Oh yeah, I also found something else. I found this thing. It's called a gyro ball. I don't know how the heck to, it works, but uh, the cool thing about it is it comes with... I was worried that I might actually have to go out and start fabricating a whole bunch of stuff, but it comes with this really cool gimbal. Hey, okay? Woo! Look at that. Which is exactly what I need. Here is the top of the uh, of the lint chocolate tin thing. It was kind of like a Christmas decoration, right? Christmas ball. Um, if you put that in here, see? It kind of makes this nice little cowling. Uh, it might hot glue it or, or super glue it into place or screw it into place. And then if I cut out a couple of notches right on the edge here, okay, this gimbal fits perfectly inside it. So if you look, picture, you see where that little uh, hole is right there? Uh, picture, I'm going to drill that out and the camera is going to go there. And look, it looks all around just like an eyeball. Cool thing is, now that I have this, I can start building onto it because it's got these neat little uh, pins here. I'm not going to be able, I'm not going to have to use the whole pin, but what I can do is I can actually fashion some eyelids that'll hook onto these and sort of pinch down over the whole enclosure, which is just friggin' awesome. So when you put the whole thing together, like this, now I'm going to dress it up with lights and stuff, and uh, but the whole thing is going to be animatronic, and look at that. just moves really, really nice. The whole mechanism is, it's almost like it was meant to be together. I have an awful lot of space in the ball to actually fit uh, quite a bit of hardware. I mean, I'm probably going to be using uh, some automotive uh, LED lights around the inside to sort of light it up. I'm going to paint it probably flat black and, uh, you know, so that it's it's like completely black or I might, I might paint it, uh, you know, white. Black on the inside, white on the outside. And then when I put LEDs inside it, it'll shine through these little uh, hamster grips here that the hamster uses to... Uh, to run in. So, yeah. And then, all I need to do is create the leg mechanism, 
which is going to fold out from the bottom like this, shoop, okay, and it'll cause the robot to sort of tilt forward and backward and left and right, and it'll be able to walk moderately. Eventually I might turn it into a hexapod with uh, six legs and uh, have it walk around that way, or I might just have it, you know, sort of mounted on an arm so it's able to, but uh, yeah. So now I just have to work on the AI uh, using some uh, open source uh, chipsets, uh, work on facial recognition for the camera so it will follow me around, and work on some uh, conversational dialogue for the things so that um, we'll kind of get a, a witty repartee back and forth. So yeah, I'm kind of happy. It's, uh, you know, my, uh, my new friend is coming together. So we'll see how it goes. Catch you on the flip side.